Yo gamers! Today we're back in Barony! Playing as a human cleric! If you don't know what a cleric is, well, they're pretty straightforward. They are a constitution and intelligence class, meaning we'll specialize with magic. We don't get a lot of strength, but we'll have some access to melee abilities. And we don't have a lot of dexterity, which means we won't be able to move as quickly as woof, other woof. classes. But that is okay, because they have a few tricks up their sleeves that are pretty awesome. What are the things woof. we're going to be doing? We're going to be playing as a human. They've got no weaknesses. Woof. No resistances. Uh, welcome by shopkeepers. This is probably the strongest thing that we can have. This right here. This means we can get all of the healing, all of the mana woof, potions, woof. all of the equipment, anything we could possibly want from shopkeepers. And it's gonna be awesome. It's gonna be awesome. It's gonna be great. Welcome in, everybody. Welcome in. Grim, Lady Yoda, Mika, Luca, uh, Lady Yoda on Twitch, and Dragon Hater. Welcome in, everybody. Feels like we missed something on YouTube. Uh, what would you have missed? I'm not 100% sure. Is it the Woof Woofs? That's over on the Twitch side of things. But don't worry about it. We're jumping right on in. This is the cleric. So, cleric, you'll notice you have some skills in maces. You've got some skill in blocking. But most of what you're going to be doing is going to be coming from magic. We could do alchemy if we choose to. Now, usually I avoid alchemy. Usually, but, you know, we could do that. You also have a bit of leadership if you want to make friends and companions and all of that. I'm not really going to do it. I also want to mention you start off with a decent 7 AC. We can literally toss our chest plate because it is very heavy. In fact, it's basically half. It's half of our carry weight right now. Uh, so I'm probably just going to toss that, ignore it. We are going to abuse the fact that we have Troll's Blood. For Troll's Blood, we need to get at least 40 points in magic or a combination of 40 points in magic and 15 points in intelligence. But that'll happen. That'll happen. No problem. We also have three scrolls of summon, which are absolutely fantastic. This is going to be the bread and butter. If we go around, we tank, and we have our summons deal all of the damage, not only are we going to gain some leadership, not that we need it, we'll also gain blocking skill, but we will do it at the cost of our mace ability. Now, maces, maces are pretty good. Maces aren't bad. Maces are amazing against skeletons. We'll be absolutely shredding them if we want to. Or we can use our summons. I'm going to show you both. I personally prefer not to use the summons, but I do recommend two things. One, don't summon everything at once. These scrolls are better used early on, rather than later, but you still want to not have too much of an army and spread out things. You kind of want to use them a little bit more as meat shields, unless, of course, you're going to play more of a, a cleric that wants to play into leadership. If you want to play into leadership, it's probably a good idea to use them. But in this case, we got a ghoul. Ghouls are amazing. Uh, we're just going to grab all of these torches. We're going to run around. Very first thing we see, we're just going to start blocking. That's it. That's the game plan. This guy, unfortunately, has a, a axe. Because he has an axe, he will always deal some damage to me. Therefore, we have to kill him before it's too late. We cannot allow him to hit us for free. But here's a little rat, Tattoo Lee, who's gonna be following me. Hey, Orange Factory, welcome on in, welcome on in. How you doing? Just had dinner? And you feel that you are a mess eater. Had curry mayo all over your face. Sounds like you had a really, really delicious meal. Wait, didn't you have curry chicken the other day? Is it the same curry mayo from like last time? Oh, I wonder, I wonder. Uh, you'll notice I'm not really fighting myself here. We are just holding spacebar with torches in my hand. Uh, basically, so that I can try and get some blocking skill without really needing to do too, too much. Uh, because we have one perception, we can start identifying things right from the get-go, which helps. It helps. But for the most part, what we want to do more than anything right now is just find experience and find the next level. We're just gonna stand here again. Like I said, we're just trying to get some experience. The rat will get my blocking up. The ghoul will kill the rat. 
that'll get us some more leadership experience, allowing us to do even more shenanigans a little bit deeper into the dungeon. This rat, unfortunately, won't be able to get hit by the ghoul, so I'm gonna try. Okay, the ghoul decided he wants to run all the way around. That's that's fine by me, I guess. It's what's well, it's okay. It's, it's I mean I don't really need to worry about it. It's it's okay. It's okay. There we go. Ratatouille gets squished. So, I still haven't seen the exit. Ooh, a spellbook. That could be good for us. If we could find a spellbook of light, it would make learning spells a lot easier. Right now, we don't have any spells. We have a spellbook of Troll's Blood. But this, this could be Force Bolt. This could be light. It could be locking. It could be a bunch of stuff. Also, notice how slow I am. That's because we're carrying a lot. Our inventory weight penalty is causing our speed to go down by 23%. Losing a quarter of your speed is not a joke. That is a big deal. That's okay. I'm literally just going to stand here. So I don't care. We'll just, we'll just block away. It's fine. Yeah, leftovers. Hey, leftovers are tasty. Lefta leftovers are good. Let's be real. Although, if it was that tasty, why was something left over? Now that I think about it, I might want to change my opinion. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh, man. You know what? You're like a, a, a barony, a typical barony eater. Because in barony, if you eat from a tin can, you'll become greasy. And if you're greasy, well, basically, you just can't... Um, keep stuff in your hand. It's it's greasy. It just slips right out of your fingers. It's kind of weird if you ask me. But it's fine. Okay, so there we go. We've managed to deal... I hear a skeleton. There's a skeleton in here. Let's go, let's go. I'm gonna go after him. I'm gonna do the thing. Okay, this is fine. Hopefully that ghoul comes around. Yeah, this is fine. This is okay. 26 and blocking. We're up to 20 AC using a torch. Not using a proper shield. And look at that. We got Force Bolt. Force Bolt's great. Force Bolt's amazing. Force Bolt is also going to allow us to use... To use some spells to do damage. Yeah, look at that, we got a steel helmet that isn't cursed. Uh, up to 21 AC, it's floor one, and we can basically tank trolls right now. I'm just saying, blocking is powerful, guys. Blocking is a very powerful. By the way, that's with a torch. If we wear a shield, it's 25 AC. Or if I use a worn wooden one, you know, it's 24. I'm just saying, I'm just saying, okay. Really, really good. If you want to get really tanky in the game and not worry about basically any physical damage, Train blocking. That's the way to go about it. Just gonna yoink everything. We've got a minotaur on this floor, which is both a good thing and a bad thing. It's bad because we gotta go fast. It's good because we gotta go fast. <laughs> I don't know. Is there a good reason for a minotaur to be on the floor? I feel like the only good reason for a minotaur floor would be to get gems. Assuming you want gems. Okay, we got ourselves a ring, that's uh, constitution. We also got a book of locking, some ranged weapons, more jewelry. Uh, we don't need water walking. I'm not gonna worry about the extra hat. That one intelligence isn't really gonna matter to me. We do wanna hold on to the troll's blood. Okay, let's just keep going. Yo, Juicy Bill, good evening, good evening. And you find a good girlfriend who is willing to wipe my face when I eat messy things. I'm sure you'll find one, Mika. I'm sure you'll find one. You'll be fine. Absolutely, 100%. I know you'll find one. That girl, she's out there somewhere. You just gotta open your eyes and, and speak to her. And look at that. We found another book of Trolls Blood. It's, uh, that doesn't happen always, but you know what? We'll take it, we'll take it. Let's open up the uh, gnomish mines, and I am just gonna get out of here. I do think I'm gonna use this book once, just because we can. Never mind, it failed! 
That is not the way I planned for that to go. Okay, so this guy does have a axe. We're just gonna, again, we're just gonna block. Let the ghoul take care of everything. If we really want to become a master, we can probably level up that ghoul all the way. In fact, you know what? Let's just go for it. Let's just stick to the ghoul. Let's show you what happens. We'll create a mastermind of ghouls. The choleric, the guy is so popular, he invited, he's invited to all parties. Huh. Huh. You know, I didn't think about it like that, but yeah, it makes sense. Okay, so far, it's nothing. That cloak fair isn't great. This gnome over here has a another shield for us. We don't need the blessed cloak, and I don't know why I equipped my shield. Oh, well, the ghoul's dead. <laughs> well, we could do a slime or two if we want. I don't know. Chat, I'm not going to bother with the whole summon thing. We'll just let them do what they need to do. This is fine. How close am I to... Quite a while away. Come on! Gimme! Give Gimme! Give I am hitting my own slime so that they can hit me back. That way, we can get the experience from the slimes as well as experience from the blocking that we're doing. Just in case you're wondering why I am hitting my own slimes. I don't want to walk around with all of the NPCs. I don't really want to have to deal with them. So that's just going to be... Oh, this is not ideal. We only have one torch left. We could probably go there and block it. Yeah, let's go there and block it. We'll break all of our shields and then just deal with it. We don't have a torch? That's okay. Absolutely okay. Good evening, father! Is you painting? I am painting with blood! It is beautiful, sir! It's beautiful! Gamer89! Welcome back! Welcome back! This troll's boring. Uh, I kind of want to keep the shield, just because... Shield? But I am going to toss out all of that stuff that's heavy. And then the moment this wooden shield breaks... I should probably get ready for this already. No. No. No, he equipped the... What is going on with my barony? Why did it equip a cursed uh, weapon? That's not good. That's not good at all. Not in the gnomish minds. I don't want a cursed weapon. Oh, jeez. Okay. Okay, so we're going to have to play melee here. Unfortunately, we don't have... Oh, that's excellent as well. Oh. Jordeo Magri super chats with our dollar ten point ninety BRL. Let's go. Cleric is so cool in co-op. It's true. It's true. Cleric is great. You're tanky. You've got healing. You've got companions. You have so much utility. It's definitely one of the better classes to play as. Co-op and solo. Just flat out one of the better ones. Oh, man. I, we're not going to be able to use... We're not going to be able to use our, uh, our torches or anything. Okay, there is a gnome over there. I am just going to jabate him over here. Uh, we're just going to try and do what we can with the, the, the base. Oh boy, I'm, I'm so screwed. <laughs> I am so screwed. <laughs> oh, this cursed base. It's not the way it was supposed to be. It's okay. It's okay. We'll be fine. Right? Right? Right, Chad? What's... We'll be fine. We're not gonna have any problems. Right? By the way, Jordel, thank you so much for the super chat. I really appreciate you, man. Thank you for the, for the kindness and the generosity. You didn't have to do it, but you did. I just want you to know. You're amazing. Okay, Trolls Blood, and that's the way we're gonna stay alive. Like I said, we have healing. Healing is good. 
Also, being able to see where the evil little gnomes are is also good. Uh, run away! Whoa, Mr. Trollolol, why are you hunting me down like this? What's going on? Come on, one more. Ah, there we go. Ah, run away, the gnome. The gnome be coming. Okay, I'm actually kind of terrified right now. We have two shields, we could probably go. We can't use any other weapons. Because of this one that is cursed. There's another troll back there, okay. I'm just gonna debate this troll. And we're just gonna go backwards, yeah. Yeah, this is good. This is good. Uh, we need to eat something. I will eat all of the fruit juice and booze I have. That way, we fill up our stomach and our health bar at the same time. That's good. Do you think the ghoul was too close to the troll? Oh, yeah, earlier? Yeah, yeah, 100%. 100%. That absolutely happened just as you predicted. Oh, my God. We just got... We got pincered. <laughs> They're all over the place. Ripperoni. Oh, man, I didn't see... Okay, I didn't see that coming. I didn't... I thought it was one gnome there, maybe. Not two of them. That's crazy. That's crazy. So again, you can have a whole lot of minions if you want. You can use your scrolls immediately. I do suggest using your scrolls earlier rather than later. And then choosing between keeping a ghoul around, the strongest of the bunch, or the slimes, who will be able to tank anything physical for you and probably stay alive a lot longer during the earlier stages of the game. But yeah. Honestly, I don't really care about them. We're just gonna go out there. Do we do the blocking strat? Yes, we do. Why? Because we can. I, I would love to see a ranged human rogue next time. Uh, sure. I've been, I've been doing, like, posts asking. What do you guys want to see? What do you guys want to do? And what do you guys suggest? Uh, you should definitely comment on those when you see them. Because that's, that's usually how I go about it. I ask a chat. What do you guys want to see? And then, well, we do what they say. <laughs> it's just like that. Easy. Okay, I'm actually just going to get rid of these rats. Because I don't want to deal with them. What is going on over here? Algernon and the rats? That troll had an absolute field day. Oh my goodness. He's just got Algernon and the gang all up in there. It's okay. It's okay. We're fine. Yo, natural gamer. Welcome on in. Welcome on in. Uh, no, I have to watch the card back. The what? So, no. When I say that I do polls, I do polls as posts on the channel. Not inside of the individual videos. These videos get scheduled ahead of time. So, if you want to see something specific, um, yeah, just let me know in those posts, because that's where all the voting happens. It's where all the magic happens. Give me the ring! Run away! From back up! This is fine. Is there another troll in here? Oh my goodness, there's two trolls on this floor. Two trolls and Algernon and I don't know what else. Yeah, the skeleton's gonna die soon. Maybe not. Okay. Since there's two things hitting me, I'm actually just gonna tell all my companions to wait. We can get three things hitting me. Oh yeah, baby! Let's go! Super level! Let's go! The blocking! The blocking is escalating! It's raising faster than you'd ever imagine! 27! 28! Okay, not 28 yet. Wait for it. Wait for it. 28! And 29! 30! Give me more! All the blocking! All the blocking! Yes! Yes, give me more! More, I ask! Also... 
I should probably tell my gang to come and help me. Save me, gang! Please! Why are you guys just standing back there? I'm dying over here! That's okay. I, I can get myself out of this. I got myself into this. I can get myself out. I don't need no slimes. I don't need no ghouls. I am a madman myself. I am the one who comes to knock. And knock I will. And as you can tell, we killed that skeleton in two hits because, wow, they're scorchy when it comes to me skills. I'm just saying, they're pretty bad. Okay, uh, I think... I think I'm just gonna get out of here. We've kind of explored this floor. We've got, we found what we need. We've done what we needed to do. We've killed what we wanted to kill. There might be more loot, but I don't care about loot. What I care about is my blocking being up to 40. Because if we hold block now, that's 20 AC with a torch. If we have a shield equip, hey, look at that. That's 22. We can tank trolls now. I'm just saying, we're pretty good. We're pretty set in our current apartment. In fact, here's a troll right now. Uh, we will just grab that. Wait for the ratatoulis and slimies and ghoul to come. Uh, we'll wake up Mr. Troll lol, and then we'll just hold spacebar. And as you can tell, our crew is basically doing all the work for us, and we don't need to think about it. I'm paralyzed! That's not good! Ah, oh, jeez. Uh, what AC do you need to full block unarmed skellies? Uh, I think about seven? I don't know the exact numbers, unfortunately. Strangulation. Uh, the fact that we just learned light is very great, because now we could just use light constantly. Up until we get the amount of magic we need to be able to learn Troll's Blood. Just straight up learn the book. Also, I just realized, I think I left the two trolls in their cages. We could have killed them for even more experience. <laughs> Whoops! Oh, well, better luck next time! Maybe try and remember, instead of forgetting. You idiot! Two brain cells, and ain't helping me nothing. I can remember what to do with my left mouse button and my right mouse button, but not what to do in the middle. Okay, so that's a human that died, so we know this is fine. We also know that cloak is magic reflection, which is really helpful. Uh, in fact, I'm just gonna block this skeleton over here. We've got three shields. Four shields. So if he can break my shields, that would be great. Specifically, if he can break the decrepit ones. I'm also just kiting away from him so that all of my minions that are very, very fast don't catch up to him. Because why would I want them to catch up? Ah, they killed my skeleton! I was busy with that! You evil people! This is fine. I should probably tell them to wait, huh? That might help. Yeah, that might help. Just a little bit. That's fine. We'll tell them to wait now. They can just stay right there while I go and look for something to help us. Someone who I can call my personal assistant! Do one of you want to be my personal assistant? By the way, drink fountains if you are human or something. Uh, you can if you have high health and things. We do. Because you will potentially get yourself blessings. Blessings will help a lot. Uh, I see the slimes and stuff. Is everything dead? No. No, 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 no. That can't be. Also, ranged weapons are probably something we might want to hold on to. Especially thrown weapons. They make a big difference. I actually beat the game for the first time last night with the help of a few dungeon dwellers. Two and a half hour run and you went through all the secret levels. Very fun stuff. Let's go! Congratulations! I am really happy for you. That's freaking awesome. Getting your first one is always great. Always freaking great. Look at how we got a flawless diamond and a gemstone to sell. We're rich! We're rich and we haven't even got to the next floor. We haven't even got to gnomes. That's great. That's freaking fantastic. You know what? I'm just gonna stand here and wait for that skeleton's weapon to break. I'm okay with this. Drink some booze. Just 
wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for it. Come on. Come on, I might have to kill him. No! I missed time to the troll! Rip! <laughs> no! No, what are you doing, troll? Not like this! Not like this! <laughs> Rip! Oh my goodness! Okay, okay. Let's put on my serious face. I think we've had enough fun. I mean, I love the fun, guys. Don't get me wrong. I love the fun. But let's get a run actually going. Hmm? What do you guys think? Should we actually get a run going? The riveting blocking grind must continue. I hate the grinding for blocking. I absolutely hate it. It's my least favorite thing to do in a game. But it's overpowered. It is overpowered. It really makes a huge difference. We just have to not use our companions right from the get-go, like I advised. Just go about. We find a couple of these friends that could then come with us. Of course, if the rat's gonna kill the skeleton, then... I'm gonna kill the rat. The skeleton's still hitting me. It's gonna go around. We're gonna get ourselves some torches. Because we can get our blocking up to 40 with torches, which is very, very helpful. I hear a bunch of spiders in here. Woof, woof. Woof, woof to you too. Welcome in, the, hmm? Welcome in. How you doing? Everyone's laughing at me. Everyone's laughing at me. Am I that bad at the game? I'm sorry. I'm doing my best, okay? I'm doing my best. Or am I? Maybe I'm just pretending. Oh, let's see, I really just want to find something. There we go. There's a rat. The more things that hit us early on, the better. Now, again, like I said, if we have a lot of blocking potential, which means we could easily... Damn it, you stupid rats! You're supposed to hit me, not the skeleton! Oh, man, I have to kill two of them! This is fine. You're gonna go sleep? Alrighty, go and have a good night's rest, man. Take care. See you on the flip side. Ooh, bear trap. Hmm. Hmm. That one isn't very good. Open the door, please. Hello? What are you doing? Is there a consistent way to get sugar? It's OP on cleric. Unfortunately, there is no consistent way to get it. Actually, wait. No, there is. But you can only get it once you reach Hamlet. I'll show you. I'll show you. We'll do it. Uh, we'll do the Hamlet path. I'll show you how to get it. Ah, look at that! We got a second friend. Yes! This is my dream come true. I'm being ganged by two boners. Boneheads? I might want to rethink what I'm saying. Yeah, I might want to reevaluate my my words. Just just a little bit. Okay, notice 29. We're gonna go up to 30. I could kill them right here, right now. Um But I think what I'm gonna do instead is I'm just gonna run away. And we're gonna look for a couple more torches. So here's one. It's very easy to find torches in the dark. You just have to look for light. Which you can see. Like right over here. And then let's see if there's more light this way. I don't see any light. I don't see any light. That's a dead end. Ooh, there's a chest in here. Ah, it's locked! That doesn't help! There's a chest. I mean, a lava a torch over here. There we go. <laughs> I'm mistiming my blocking a lot. Uh, I'll tell you guys. I'll show you exactly how you can go about uh, to block consistently. Every time you see this flash up here, you can let go of your... Sh uh, you can let go of spacebar for like half a second. So half, half... Half, 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 about half a second, which is just long enough for you to actually hit back in that time. So in that, in this situation, we could go hit, 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 hit. Whenever you see that gray thing pop up on the top of your screen, you know you can hit back. And that's what we're going to do. We're going to hit back. Why? Because we can. Also, my blocking is nearly level 40, so uh, this is good. There has to be another... Another skeleton over here, right? Where'd he go? Where'd the other skeleton go? 
Did it go this way? No? Did it go up north? Is that him? Yeah, that's the guy. That's the guy. Okay, so we're just gonna jet bait him along. We don't really need to worry about him in detail. He will get our blocking up to 40. We will swap to our shield again. Once you see that tag going off, you know you can do the thing. And then you can just smack back. So he's nearly dead. We're just gonna wait for him. And yeah, wait for the indicator. Actually, I'm gonna wait for the shield to break. Indicator, grab. Indicator, grab. Indicator, grab. Very easy, very straightforward. Uh-oh. No! I didn't mean to press three, I'm sorry. I was holding spacebar. Ow! Oh, it's gone. It's gone. That sucks. Okay, I think the spiders were down this way. We can easily get rid of those spiders. Uh, we have unlimited power of blocking. Also, we got a lot of damage. And spiders are running away. Of course they are. I also have poison resistance, so I'm not afraid. Ha 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 ha! You cannot... I'm not locked in here with you. You're locked in here with me. <laughs> and just like that, we grabbed ourselves a bunch of goodies. Uh, so these scrolls of summon, like I said, we could do a thing with them. We could just summon a whole lot of creatures. I'm honestly just going to get rid of them. I'm just going to kill them. I don't want to deal with them. I don't like them. I don't care about them. So we're just going to get rid of them as quickly as we can. Yeah, it's gonna smack him in the face a couple of times. We have Troll's Blood active. Unfortunately, the slimes are super tanky. He leveled up for me killing him! <laughs> oh no, my base broke! That sucks! But that is what happens as a cleric, unfortunately. That's the cleric life right there. Uh, let's just punch the slime into oblivion. One, two. One, two. One, two, three. One, two. One, two, and we have done the thing. Uh, I'm probably just going to eat that. We're not going to care about it. Grab the food. We did get the spiders. We still don't know where the exit is, but that's okay. That's okay. Why is that hello message up for review? Uh, I'm just going to say show. That's fine. Hello. Welcome on in. I have no idea how to say your name, but I'm going to say hello. Wow, I noticed the indicator. Yeah, yeah, the indicator helps a lot. It helps a lot if you want to try and figure out uh, the timing. I know a lot of new players say they don't quite know when to hit back. But the indicator is the perfect way to do it. Okay, still no exit, but that's fine. Ah, no rats! Toss, toss, that's fine. We got health potions. Uh, it's probably good to have those on my hotbar, just in case. And I am going to kill the rat before we move on. Because why wouldn't I? It's a rat. Did you think I was going to keep the rats alive? <laughs> well, you have a thing coming. Let's take a look in here. Nope, no exito. Uh, I will grab the torches from here because we only have two left. And if we are going to do the blocking strategy, then it's always good to have a backup. It's always good to have a backup. Okay, we don't want that, we don't want that, we don't want this. Uh, I mean, I'm gonna drink the booze just because it doesn't hurt. It heals us a little bit. Gives us extra constitution. We still have fruit juice and what looks like a confusion potion. Now, I don't know why we'd want to use the confusion potion, but eh. I mean, we could make enemies hit each other if we wanted to, but at this stage in time, I don't really have a need for it. Okay, so that's locked. We have found three spell books. We got them out of a chest, so I know I can just learn these. They're fine. 
We got him out of a chest. That's how we know. We learned Forge Bolt. We learned the other thing. We got a Ring of Constitution. I also have no more food. We'll just eat this moldy cheese and hope for the best. Wow. I said hope for the best, but it's not working out for me, is it? No. That's all my moldy cheese. It sucks. What are you doing? Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. I got no more nom noms. We gotta be moving. We gotta go zooming. Give me food. I'm hungry. I'm gonna starve. Okay, let's just grab whatever we can, uh, including those gems. We're looking for the gnomish mine, which, which I've just found. Gnomish mine is over here. Uh, so we're just gonna go through. We're just gonna go through. Uh, I did learn the spell of confusion and force bolt. We'll be using force bolt as our kind of primary attack. Because again, like I said, we are a spellcaster, so we kind of want to have something that can deal a decent amount of damage. And that is great, especially for the gnomish mines. Uh, grab these, grab that. Don't really care about the rest. I've got too many torches. We only need about five. And hopefully we won't need them in the gnomish because we'll find ourselves a lantern. Stuff of locking, okay. We're just gonna zap everything. Ah, that's not zapping him! Ah, give me my stuff! <laughs> give me my pull arm! <laughs> you can't lock his- give him lock joint! What are you trying to do here, sir? What are you trying to do? Oh, jeez. We got a ring of might that'll help. Uh, but for now, I'm happy. I'm happy enough to think that we have pretty much everything we want from here. So let's get out of here. Let's open up the lever. Let's go. We're level 8, by the way. Level 8 is a very high level for this floor. We're on floor 2. So, I'm just saying. Very, very high level. Uh, I'm gonna break through here. We're gonna smack Mr. Nomeo. Luckily, this time, we have a weapon that we can use. Not one that's just there to look fancy. Um... <laughs> Let's go to Mr. Gnome over here with his shield. And we're actually just gonna yoink his... We're gonna yoink his uh, service level pickaxe. So I do think it's handy. Snipe Mr. Gnome. We could use the staff here to finish him. But if he turns around and shows his back to us... Like that, we can get a sneak attack. Um, we could go block the troll. We have a serviceable wooden. Yeah, you know what? Let's let's do a bit of a trading blows of the troll. Yeah, this is just because of the thing. Whoa. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Please, sir. That was a, it. Was just an accident. You were standing there, you were looking beautiful, and I couldn't help myself, sir. I just couldn't help myself. Okay, where'd he go? There he is. Uh, do we want to risk the shield? We can block with torches. But before we do that, I'm gonna go right over here on the corner. So if I run, he'll get stuck on the corner. He has to go around the corner before he will be able to chase after me. This is pretty much the best way to make sure that you can escape after your shields break. In case you need to. Of course, the shield doesn't want to break for some reason. I don't know why. It's literally decrepit. It's a wooden shield. It's supposed to break like it, 10 minutes ago. Why is it not broken? Well, if it's not going to break, I'm not going to do a whole thing. I'm just going to smack him in the face a couple of times until he's nice and low. And the moment it breaks, we'll go up him. We smack him over the head and make sure he never sees the light of day again. Is there any useful use for the lock spell? In the version I am currently playing, no. However, in future versions, there will be mimics. These mimics, if you use the locking spell on them, it will have an effect. Other than that, literally no use. Except for trolling your friends or something like that, you know. 
You're new here! Hey, well, welcome in, Mr. New here! My name is Lysiant! I'm streaming parody! Nice to meet you! On a serious note, welcome in, welcome in. It's good to have you. I hope you're enjoying the content and uh, that you'll get to hang out and have good vibes. Because that's what I want. That is my goal. That is my dream. The good vibes. Uh, I'm going to eat that aged bread. We're going to hold on to the moldy cheese for a bit. Uh, run around and get ourselves some gold in the area and do more things. Uh, I just want to say I love your vibes. Keep doing the good work. Yo, I really appreciate it, man. I really appreciate it. Do I find moldy cheese to be worth eating typically? Uh, so, Zosit, what I do, I will tell you what I do. What I do with moldy cheese is I wait. I wait until I'm literally starving. And then, if you want, you can wait even more. I'm not even kidding. You can literally wait even more. The idea is, if you are starving, if your stomach is completely empty, what do you have to lose? for eating moldy cheese. There's no reason not to eat it. Absolutely none. Nada. Zilch. Nothing. So, in that case, I do eat it. Especially during the early floors. Especially during the early floors. Coming here into Gnomish Mines? So easy to get rid of all your moldy cheese that you don't want. Okay, we're just gonna use all of our mana. Get our magic up a little bit. Zap the troll. And there we go. We can learn troll's blood now. Which means the next time we've got 25 mana, I will learn that. I mean, I will cast that spell and heal myself up. Uh, in the meantime, we'll just drink some fruit juice. Make sure we've got a little bit of a safety buffer. We do have health potions that I'll put on my hotbar. But we don't really need them. Ah, never mind. I might need them. Okay, never mind. We don't need them. <laughs> We're fine, we're fine, until a lightning snap gnome jumps out and gives me the jump scare of my life, but until then, I'm feeling relatively safe with my staff of lightning. There, there we go, see? Safe! Safe. Now, I've got 58 in blocking. This shield will probably break, but it might not. I will hold on to it, just for the sake of holding on to it. But I'm really scared of using it. I don't know if I want to use it at all. We also got another excellent pickaxe. Uh, that's probably worth holding on to. Just for after the Gnomish Mines. In fact, I'm going to take it straight towards the middle. I'm going to take it to the spawn room. Okay. <laughs> ah, you guys trying to give me nightmares, aren't you? Jump at me like that from nowhere. Oh, man. Oh, man. That's okay. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. Let's go this way instead. Yeah. Unbreakable shield? It very well could be. But I think between those two shields, we might have enough to be able to uh, not do things. Uh, Chris, the snake, thank you for the hydration reminder. I will drink a sippy right now. Cheers. Ah, I appreciate that. Stay hydrated, everybody. Hey, Toaster! You jumped in at the perfect time? Did you see me get toasted? Well, I guess so. I I mean, if that's what you want to see, uh, you'll see it. It'll happen sooner or later. Oh, is this staff... Okay, the staff is cursed. Uh, let's go hunt down something. Once we've hunted down something, the staff should hopefully be broken, and then we'll go and deal... There we go. With all of the gold from all of the other things. So we don't need that. We don't need this. We'll take his Staff of Lightning. Take that Cursed Pickaxe. And go gold hunting! Yo, guys! I have decided my dream in life is to become a gold digger. Oh, yeah. We're gonna be digging gold all day. Gonna dig this gold. Gonna dig that gold. There's no gold here? Yo, where's the gold? Okay, listen. Listen, listen. Where's the gold? I guess my dreams ended before they've even begun. This sucks. This isn't part of the plan. Uh, so there we can see. I have moldy cheese on my hotbar. We're hungry. We're not starving, but we are hungry. So I'm just going to hold on to it. And we're going to wait. And we're going to wait. And we're going to wait some more. Because the moment I start starving, that's when we eat it. Actually, you know what? I'll even show you. Let's just wait until we take damage. In the meantime, we'll be stocking up on meat and other foods that we could use that are really good. Also, I'm going to use the staff again. Woo-wee! 
Gnomes galore! Oh, that was easy. Uh, do I want to keep the Ring of Might? I kind of do. What about the gems? I don't know if I care about the gems. Potion of Confusion? Oh, that's delicious! Mm -mm -mm. Don't mind if I do. Okay, cloaks we definitely don't want. Cursed lantern we definitely don't want. We already have a bunch of torches we can use. Uh, blast pickaxe, that's nice. Let's go drop the blast pickaxe here by the exit. It's always nice to have a blast one just because it's easier to identify them in your inventory if you need to equip them very quickly. I'm hearing a lot of gnomes. Is there a fumpus here? Ah, too much fun! It's too much stuff! No, not like this! Well, I guess we're just gonna have to do with the second boy. So, I am actually gonna grind up my, my blocking here. Mostly because I want to get rid of the cursed shields. Notice I'm starving. I'm not taking any damage yet. So we're just gonna wait. We're gonna keep waiting. Maybe we should sing a song while we wait. Gold digger? Kinda true, caloric, and to the church. It's true! It's true! I'm not even joking! Will I get the helmet? It's not amazing, but yes, I will get it. We are an intelligence-based character. We don't have negative strength, so it can help us. But yeah, notice. Not starving yet. Oh, there we take damage! So now we eat the cheese. And watch. We're not gonna be starving. We're not gonna take damage yet. It's gonna... Uh, we've reset the damage cooldown. One of two things would have happened. Either it would have filled up our stomach, but in this case, it just reset that whole starving thing. And since I don't have any other moldy cheese, I will eat this piece of meat. But as you can tell, we're not actively starving. Because of that reason, I feel like it's always good to hold on to moldy cheese because you can make use out of them. Okay. Yoink. That's broken. Yoink. What necklace is this? Ah, strangulation! It's not what I want! Look, I know I said I was a gold digger, but I don't have that kind of fetishes. Got a nice little feather. I don't know if we're gonna use the feather, so... Probably gonna toss it at some point, but yeah, it's fine. Uh, moldy cheese, only conceivable really if you're taking starvation. No, 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 no. So that is if you want to get the most out of it. And you can get the most out of any food by waiting until the last possible second before you eat it. What I do with moldy cheese is I just wait until I get to that starving point and then I eat it. Because it buys me like a minute or two before I need to go do some other stuff. I mean, before I need to eat again. Okay, so this should be enough. Uh, I will start trading blows of the troll. The troll will start bl trading blows of me. Ow! Um, Lysian, please follow your own damn advice. Oh my goodness, what are you trying to get yourself killed again? You want to start over for a third time? I see how it is. Okay, but we're going to use Troll's Blood because we have it. Uh, we don't need the extra blessed cloak. We've got three cursed pickaxes. I'm just going to equip them. And again, we're going to become a gold digger. Because life dreams, goals, purpose. Of course, the moment I become a gold digger, there's no more gold to be around. Stupid gold always hiding from me. I hate it. I hate it. It never wants to be here. Hey, no, maybe I shouldn't announce it. Yo, Makazu, welcome on in. Welcome on in. How you doing, man? I hope you're doing well, and I hope you are doing good. You can hold on to the multi-cheese as a character with no perception. That's true. That's true. It can also help you uh, buff up your... You can also help you buff up your perception. Sorry, not your perception, your training skill. You know, to help you get your appraisal up and all of that, but... Eh, it's not necessarily always mandatory. Okay, so we go through here, grab that gold, we're gonna come back, and I'm gonna go towards the little evil place of doom and death. You guys don't know what the evil place of doom and death is? It's right around the corner here. It's where the helmet is. It's not doom and death though. It's not that bad. I guess it could be worse. Uh, toss the pickaxe, break on in, break on in, grab our helmet. 
We'll equip it immediately and be on our way. Also, uh, let's go E and Q. Just we have some sort of attack other than the pickaxe. Pickaxe isn't very effective for well, isn't a very effective fighting tool. You can kill the gnomes. You can even kill the lightning gnomes of it, but it's not very effective. So we'll zap them instead! <laughs> Suffer my glory! Wait, we've been here. We're going in circles! Ah, I'm just gonna take shortcuts. I'm not I'm not doing this anymore! Give me the damn gold! All of the damn gold, not just some of it! I proclaim myself a gold digger, so I shall mine each and every single piece of gold. All of it will belong to me. You'll see. You'll see. Uh, you can break the towers? Yeah, you can. Usually what I do is I come in from here. Uh, the gates to that room are right over here and right over there. So what I do is I break the wall between the two gates and then I break the one uh, thing over there. And then at that point, you can pretty much just run in and you'll never get hit. But if you really want, you can also break the second one over there. And then you could just run in and break and like get it without like ever getting hit. And if you really want, you could just go around and destroy them all. Uh, that That's fine too. That's also an option. Shortcuts! Let's go! If you tell your... <laughs> that was dirt. Yeah, maybe I should be careful. She might be listening in right now. I don't know. I have no idea. But if she is, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't mean it. I'll, I'll change my ways. I'll change my ways. Please, for keep me. Come back. Come back to me. I didn't mean it. Please. You guys think she'll forgive me? I hope she forgives me. If not, then, I don't know. I'm gonna have a hard time. I eh, might as well. Hey, look at that. We found a shield. And a couple of throwable weapons. Great. By the way, did I ever tell you guys how overpowered blocking is? Look at this. 37 AC. We're on floor three. We are about 8 AC away from being able to tank a Minotaur. If you want to avoid all physical damage in the game and only be afraid of magic and piercing and fire, train your blocking. It's very, very powerful. Uh, we're going to train our trading up here just a little bit, uh, mostly so that I can unlock the traits. It's always nice to have access to traits, but I mean, it's not very high... It's not vitally important to do this. You don't have to do this in your playthroughs if you don't want to. But this is a great place to do it. Mm, how many do we buy and sell now? 24? Okay, buy one more. There we go, 25. So he's got, he's got scrolls of destroy armor. If we ever needed to get rid of a, a, a cursed shield, that would be the way to do it. Okay, this pickaxe is not cursed. I'm gonna equip my lightning staff. Even though I probably shouldn't. Where the hell does the gnome go? The man's debating me! He's leading me around in circles on a wild goose chase! I will get him! There we go! I told you I'd get you! And just like that, we have become a goddess! Of some sort, I don't know. By the way, I've given up on my, my uh, gold digging ways. I decided there's better things in life for me. Better options, a better path. I'm believing in the path of light now. That is the true way. The way of the divine. The nine divine. Oh man. Too many gems. I want a shield. Although, I've got too many shields. Hold on, what's my blocking at? 76, yeah. We're 100% getting our blocking to 100. 100%! Nothing's gonna stop us. Oh, well. 
Uh, anything we can toss? Worthless glass? You scared me! I thought I was gonna get zapped! Okay, I'm just gonna take a look up here quickly. Don't really care about the gems. In fact, the gems I already have, I feel like I wanna toss. Uh, except for those two. Unless we have a gem that's worth more. We have empty bottles. We also have a couple of pickaxes. Staff is worn. And 90 is remove curse. We could remove the curse on the staff and then go and have some more fun. But I'm just going to walk up here. And then hopefully we'll be able to mine our way back. Wait, no. This is the wrong path. I want to go this way. Hungry, so I'll eat one fish. I kept hearing a gnome up here. He has to be here somewhere, right? At a shop? He's behind the shop, isn't he? I knew it! Cannot hide from me, sir! Oh boy. Yeah, these shields are a little bit rough. Uh, I'm gonna throw out the polearm because one, we aren't really planning on specializing with polearm abilities. And two, well, it's not a very good one. It, it's pretty bad. We still have one spare if we really want to go into that, but uh, between my mana regeneration and everything else, we'll be fine. Funny little Sharer meme. Wait, what? What's the Sharer meme? Did I miss something? I feel like I missed something. Did you know Player Toaster is territorial? It's true! So is Lycian! We're sharing the blood! Okay, so up here. We already got that. Okay. Uh, let's head back down. I'll mine a couple more until this pickaxe breaks. Which is literally any moment now. We have three other pickaxes as well we could use to get more gold. But, eh. Does it matter if we get everything? Not really. Let me quickly show you. Hold on. Let's go up here. Let's go around. I said go around. Yep. Uh, that is currently open. So, what I usually do. Usually, both of these gates are closed. I come here. I break this one. As you can tell, there's nothing over there that will hit you. And then we break this. Break this. And you can walk literally right up. Grab the helmet and get out. You don't have to be afraid of this one or that one. They're the main two that are dangerous. But if you want, you can always break everything and just be on your merry way. Which is what we're doing right now. Why are we doing it? I have no idea. I guess I just felt like it. <laughs> Gold! Quickly, yoink it! Get out of here before it's too late! No, I should have not done it. It's fine, we'll walk around. We'll walk around. It's all good. It's all good. Drink fountains? Could have got on a succubus. We didn't. It's okay. And uh, we also only have one blast pickaxe, one regular one. Uh, so that's something to keep in mind. Now, from this point forwards, we're playing more like a mage. We're not playing like a tank. Uh, actually, we're playing as a tank mage. Because that's what clerics are. They're tank mages. So we're going to debate the skeleton to keep hitting us while we move. Well, his thing broke. And look at that. 39 AC. Well, for wooden shield. That's not good. Blank. We've got a feather. Do we want to do anything with feathers? I don't feel like I want to do anything with feathers, so... I'm going to get rid of both the feather and the blank scroll. Again, it's just because I don't feel like doing something with them. And while these two are busy smacking me around... I'm going to keep moving. Equip another shield and just keep moving. My blocking should go up to 100. At which point, on floor 3 with 100 blocking, we will have an absolute astronomical amount of AC. And nothing will be able to hurt us anymore. Which will be glorious. Absolutely glorious. 
Yes, he always does the Goblin Temple, mainly just for the gold. True, true. It's very easy and free gold. But yeah, I usually ignore the... Uh, I ignore... Oh, oh. This, this is... Guys, this is a little awkward. Um, listen. I swear... Uh, I didn't know! I didn't know what her... She, she told me she was single! Okay? You don't have to do it this way! It doesn't have to be like this! If I knew, I wouldn't have done a thing! Well, too late for all of you. <laughs> uh, did we get Mine Town? Oh yeah, we got Mine Town. That's nice. I got two extra gems. More gems. We'll just sell them because we can. Uh, it's got a scrolls of identify. I will buy them. I will use them on the gems. That way, we can become very, very rich. Look at that. 7,000 gold. On floor three. I'm just saying, okay? Humans are OP. Humans are OP. They're great. Humans are very undervalued. I honestly feel like they're one of the more stronger races in the game. I also shouldn't be using the Staff of Lightning. I really need to use my, uh... Yeah, my Force Bolt. There we go. Uh, this is Curse. Don't care, don't care. I'll hold on to that, but I'm not using the Curse Shield because my blocking is basically up to 100. And... I don't want to get stuck with a shield. There we go! Take them all out! No problem! Uh, teleportation, we got slow, we got remove curse. So maybe I can go back and get that shield again. Troll's blood again? I don't want troll's blood anymore. Yeah, let's just go. That's another fountain. Okay, let's go. We'll drink it. Ah, to bless my equipment! Let's go! I don't drink fountains to bless myself anymore these days. It's just... It's not something I really do or care about. But it's definitely something you guys can do. It helps a little bit, I suppose. I can't deny that. Where's the skeleton? Here. Well, he's dead now. Uh, not my problem. I'm getting out of here. Yoink! Wait, there was two more scrolls of identified the shop, which is up here. It's also a jeweler, so we could sell these immediately. Assume. Wow, I don't even need to buy the scrolls of identify. I'm just identifying these gems. Uh, adornment. I'm just gonna sell it. I don't care. Constitution. Uh, do we want the one extra AC? Yeah, I guess it helps. It helps. Fair watching off mobile data right now, so the quality isn't good. Oh, that's that's unfortunate. I'm really glad that you could be here, though. By the way, there is a secret in there, apparently. In Mine Town, there is a secret. If you guys want, I could show you. It's nothing glamorous, but there is something. Identify. Look at that. Another 2,000 gold. Bada boom, bada beam. And I'm just gonna buy everything I can. Not because I need it, but because I feel like it. <laughs> We're rich! We're rich! I'm buying everything! Wait, Olympic swimming? We need that. I actually need that. Welcome ice cream dinner to the Whoop Pack. Ice cream dinner? Yes, please! We're gonna have it! Sign me up! Sign me up! <laughs> That's great! Ring of Conflict. Okay. So we could buy a Remove Curse Scroll here. We could buy a fresh tamale. I'll buy it right now because we are hungry. Uh, I'm also gonna buy the Levitation Potions just so that we have it. But at this stage, we don't need any more. We don't need to tr do any more, like, trading for experience. We've pretty much got all of the experience that we want, because we've unlocked all of the trades. Uh, the secret is worth showing off, you think? I don't know. I usually skip it because I don't really care about chests. Loot from chests are usually bad. Usually, not always. But I'll show it. Yeah, we could show it. Why not? We are here, right? Let's just do it. Bada boom! Give me your, give me your stuff. This is a muggin. Wait, do you have gloves? There's no gloves. I got scammed. I want gloves. Maybe I could get one of them to attack me. Huh? 
Come on, come on. 97, 98, 99. Come on, 99. Look at this. Look at this. Come on. Just two more. Two more. I'm asking too much. One more. Let's go. Or Legend and Shield. So at this stage of the game, there's nothing that can stop us. Except for magic and fire. So as long as you're careful of magic and fire, that's it. So is our end game here just 100 blocking magic and shred everything? Pretty much. But you know, you can do blocking with any class in the game. And it will still be overpowered. Look here. 50 AC. If you want to know how much 50 AC is... Orpheus, the end game final boss. You need 60 AC and then you can basically block him. And he will do no damage to you. We have 50! 50! Look where we are! Okay? I'm just saying. This is overpowered as hell. Nothing. Not a single thing that does any physical damage will harm us at all anymore. Nothing. We have truly been blessed by God himself. That's all I could say about that. Especially if we get better armor. Although... Eh, don't need it. Does he have gloves? He does! Back there! I got him! It's just lever, but you know what? It adds. Look at that, 51! We only need nine more! Eh, I'm gonna buy it. Why not? Uh, chat, do we allow ourselves to do any alchemy? The reason I ask is because this character does start with 20 points in alchemy. And I could show you how overpowered it is, but at the same time, alchemy is really broken and I don't know if I want to use it at all. But we have access to an Alembic. So what do you say, chat? Vote yeah or vote nay? Do we do this or not? Corner my bonus again. Oh, jeez. <laughs> oh, man. That's one beefy religious man. Like I said, a blocking is overpowered, guys. The devs might change it in the future. So if you want to have the easiest time in barony just train blocking i will show you wow overpowered it is all the way through have i ever gone over alchemy in recent vods uh enjoyer no no i don't think i have if not yeah okay you create some bombs i always do a little bit of alchemy but i never really do too much alchemy need alchemy tutorial i will do alchemy tutorial we only have two more class sorry two more race guides then four combat guides and then I'll start doing, like, levels and alchemy and all kinds of stuff like that. But I will do polls. I'll do polls on the channel. If you guys don't know what a YouTube post is, I can show you right now. Hold on. Let me show you. Let me show you guys. Just so that you know what, you're, what we're signing up for, okay? Uh, so, firstly, we're going to go to my channel. If you go to my channel, just my channel over here, you know, just uh, YouTube. Hold on. YouTube.com slash... At Lycian YT, Lycian YouTube. And you press enter, you'll end up at my channel, right? You can do this right now, okay? You can do this right now if you want. Right over here, there's a tab, it's called Community. If you click on that, you'll see Cleric won the poll. You'll also see that Warrior was in there too. Because over here, I asked, what should I do next week? Comment about your choice. And people said they wanted to do the full random run. So that's what we did. And they were like, okay, well, you know, we also want to see some live stream guides. So that's what I did. I was like, okay, okay. What sort of live stream guides do you want? By the way, they actually commented over here. Uh, they commented that they want warrior and cleric. There we go. Warrior slash cleric. Someone else, I think, said cleric as well. Uh, so that's how we got to this, okay? Again, I'll show you, I'll show you. If you go to my main page, just click on community. If you go to community, you'll see the polls over here. I'm going to try and do them more regularly. At least once a week. Uh, probably on a Monday. I don't know. Hey, I'll, I'll, let's just assume for now that it will be on Mondays. So if you guys want to do stuff, hey, you know, you can, you can come here. You can be a part of that. I, it always makes me happy to see people be uh, participating in those. Always makes me happy. 
Okay, so you guys want me to do a bit of alchemy. Let's do the broken, overpowered thing. Uh, we got levitation potions already. And... Eh, might as well buy the acid. Ah, I'm not gonna lose nothing. And let's buy the invisibility, because again... Let's buy the water, because alchemy. Costas don't need... Ooh. I will use the might over the Olympic swimming. I should probably also have bottled up some of those other potions, but it's okay. So, one of the things we're going to do is we're going to combine. This is literally the very first potions that you should learn. The very, very first potions. Let me just quickly grab that invisibility. Firstly, if you combine fruit juice and cure ailment, I'm not going to show you right now. You know what? I'll show you. Yeah. If you combine fruit juice and cure ailment, you will get... Restore magic. If you combine fruit juice and with speed, you'll get invisibility. I'm not going to do that right now. I'm going to do another restore magic. If you combine restore magic and invisibility, it's only three potions you have to remember. Fruit juice, cure ailment, and speed. If you just know those three, you can make yourself restore magics and invisibility, which gives you extra healing. And look at that. We now have a total of five, let's say 600 health in total. Because we've got 500 instantaneous health in our pocket on top of the 115 we have. These are full heal potions. I'm just saying it's overpowered, okay? Alchemy is broken! Alchemy is actually broken! Uh, if you want to know how to get speed, you could get speed with, like, booze and cure ailment and other stuff. Uh, I wouldn't suggest going into too much depth and details with that. Don't worry too much about it. Just learn one extra potion at a time. Yeah, that seems pretty broken. It is! It is, especially if you take your empty bottles and you go to these, these sinks over here and you fill them up with water. Because now we can go and we can be like, okay, I want to combine this. Oh, it's a 60% chance. That's fine. I'm just going to wait until my alchemy skill goes up a little bit more. Every 20 points, it's another 10% chance. So nine more points, it won't be a 60% chance. It'll be a 70% chance that this water becomes another one of those extra healing potions. Again, I'm just saying, they're crazy good. Now, you guys asked me to show you the secret in Mine Town. The secret of Mine Town is... This gate can be opened with opening. Or you can use a pickaxe and break the wall. Whatever you prefer. One of the two. If you went to Gnomish Mines, you'll have a pickaxe. If you have a pickaxe, you can break through here. If you come through here... You can train your swimming to 100! Yeah, let's get 100 swimming, chat! Let's, let's swim, let's dance! Let's do water polo or something! I don't know! I don't care! Because right over here, there is a pickaxe. There's also a potion of might. A potion of strength that gives you access to push. If you pull that lever and you swim over to the other side, there will be a boulder. Normally, you don't have a ring of might, but if you do, if you do, you can just, you know, you know, push the boulder into the hole. If you don't, you just drink the strength potion, and then you'll have might as well, and you can just plonk it over into the hole and come and grab yourself a bunch of free chests. Now, again, I don't care about any of this, because, well, I already explained myself, I, I don't really care about loot very much. In this case, I'll be happy about the cheese. I'm happy about the cheese. You know, that that was worth it. That definitely was worth it. For the amount of time I just stood around playing here. I've been playing way too long. I'm wasting time at this rate. But you know, it's okay. We're doing a guide, right? We're doing a guide. Uh, probably got the achievement, actually. Oh, you went there? I don't know if there is an achievement. I'll be honest. I don't know. I'm just going there because why not? Hey, another bite ring. Yeet. Okay, so again, we're just gonna zap these guys. We've got ourselves a mace. We're still gonna try and keep our eyes open for another mace. But yeah, we're we're pretty pretty badass right now. We're basically a demigod. A minotaur can't hurt us anymore. Um, 
Skeletons, rats can't hurt us. Literally, the only thing we have to be afraid of right now is magic and fire. And I'll show you guys how you can avoid those. Again, skeletons can't hurt us. We just smack them. One, two, get rid of them. There's another mace. Okay, that's good. Uh, I'm going to combine all of this water into one little pile. Just because, why not? Uh, we'll see what the shop is selling. It's a general store. That's great. These are my favorite because you can get both healing and mana potions from them. You can also get other stuff and you can sell stuff, but I'm not really too bothered about selling. Uh, I mostly just want the mana and health potions to make sure we never die. Especially because, like I said, if you combine manas with uh, healing, you basically just become broken. I can't pick it up, but that's fruit juice. Aha! So now I can show you if you combine fruit juice and speed, you will get yourself invisibility. And again, if you combine invisibility and restore magic, you will get extra healing. And you could just stack them up. You just stack them up. Put them on your hotbar. Do the thing. Okay, we're gonna get rid of Mr. Skeletor. We don't have to worry about the details anymore. We just gotta run on through and do what we gotta do. Mr. Ratatouille, let's just smack him. No big deal. Got some mana to burn. Yo, know, let's just break through all the doors because why not? No good. Easy mode, right? Easy mode. Barony Academy versus Violiciant? Oh yeah, no, no, listen, listen. Enjoyer, my goal of even starting to stream Barony over on YouTube was just to teach people about the game. That was it. I just want to teach people about the game because I've got so much experience with this and I don't feel like too many people are sharing that information. But recently there has been a lot more people uh, popping up and doing things, so it's not that bad. Uh, let's use the worn mace instead of the one I'm currently using. Just so it breaks a little bit faster. Get it out of my inventory. Damn it! Stupid potion. Do we need this? Ah, oh, more blessed water! Can I combine them? Oh, that's plus four and this is plus two. That's... That's unfortunate. That's okay. Well... It's fine. It's fine. Let's eat the slightly aged cream pie. We'll take the other pie. It's cursed! Stupid cursed pies. Okay, we're just gonna go. Flash through the doors! Now we could go into the sides. We could grab the loot. But again, I keep saying this over and over. I don't care about the loot. I don't care about the loot. Everything we need is already in the game. The Barony Noob experience is rough, yeah. It's, it's not very forgiving at all. Okay, we got that. It's gonna go this way. We're looking for spell books. By the way, uh, I had to be fast fair. But I'll show you that again in a moment. Just gonna block. Just gonna block. Again, like I said, every single time you see this marker up here, you block. Well, just before. Afterwards, you can attack. Uh, bottle book. These, these arrows. Notice how they've got like a little bit of a yellow tint above them. That's how you can tell they're arrows of fire. If you don't know the color, whenever you see arrows that kind of look like a tree bark or like copper, that, that is one thing you need to be very afraid of. That's something that will hurt you. Does he have magic reflection? He doesn't. Okay, that's fine. But as a cleric, you don't have to be as afraid because you have magic yourself. You have ranged retaliation. Let's just combine these waters because I really, really don't want to deal with that. You can just use your magic to deal damage at range, which is helpful. Very helpful. Uh, curse Book of Slow. We have removed Curse. I will learn it just because we don't have a slow yet, and slow is very useful. It's a very powerful spell to have access to. I don't think that was a... Oh, that was a spell book. Oh. Probably locking. Let's be real. It's probably locking. Uh, tributes. That could be identify or... 
It could be destroy armor. I'm not really fussed. Let's use the Staff of Light just because we can. Uh, might as well pick up the goggles, the glasses, because why not? It's not going to hurt us. We'll eat the aged fish just because, again, we can. And I'm going to be looking for any sort of food. There's a troll over here. We'll just block him. No physical damage can hurt us anymore. We're basically immortal when it comes to physical damage. I uh, don't really care about this stuff. Found the exit. Should probably just go. Ah, oh, wait, hold on. There's a bottle over there. Yoink. Detect food. Is there any food on the map? There is. I missed it. Oh, wait, no. That's the meat. Oh, the rotten flesh. Moldy. Ugh, cursed. Ugh, terrible. I don't want that. It's actually useful. Hold on. I'm going to keep on to it. I'm going to hold on to it. Remember the moldy cheese strat? Remember the moldy cheese strat I mentioned? We're basically doing that, but with cursed food. Okay. We're doing it with cursed food. That bread's useful. Ooh. Ooh, I like that bread. Now, let's get out of here. From all classes, I think either insect or skeleton must be the worst, right? You mean all races? Seeing someone discover the effects of strangulation and it, or picking a useless cursed equipment is funny. It's true. It is true. I like watching newer parody players play the game and learn uh, what not to do. <laughs> it's always funny to me. I never try and spoil old adventure for them, but it's it's always interesting. Okay, so we're just gonna smack Mr. Goblin around a little bit. We're gonna bully him, man, himself. Okay, so here we can see there's an NPC with a staff. We're a human. If we were not a human, this would be very scary. But Merlin? Merlin isn't fairy. Merlin's friend. So we'll just tell him to come with us. This, on the other hand, is very scary. If you do see something like that, you kind of just run the other direction. You avoid them. You don't go near them. They will obliterate you in a couple of seconds. I would show you, but I don't feel like it. <laughs> What you can do, however, is you can use magic at range, and you can just get rid of him very quickly, very easily. Uh, guess we'll burn the staff of slow. Do we make poison? I could show you how to make speed now. If you take the alembic and, you know, just uh, cure ailment and booze, you can make speed. So yeah, fruit juice boost. There's a there's a specific graphic, but I I don't use it anymore. I know all this all the stuff. Uh, I use it for one very special reason. That reason is that it shows you the base potions. I feel like when it comes to alchemy, too many people are looking at the graphic that shows you how to combine potions for something very specific. But they never learned the base potions and how to use those. And I do think it's very important to do that. By the way, again, we're just buying more mana potions. We're buying more uh, other potions that we need. Uh, healing mana. You know, just the, the normal typical stuff. Am I poisoned? I think I am poisoned. Man, I'm just gonna drink this. Confusion? It's cursed. That's not good. 450, okay. More acid, we'll just combine the acid, pretend it doesn't exist, and go to the golden place. Probably just gonna zap all of the trolls and not really think about it. Yeah, I think that's the plan. We'll get rid of these staffs of lightning. This one's cursed. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll start with the goblins! That was easy. <laughs> that was great. Let's do it again. Let's do it again. Yeah, that was fun. Too bad they're all dead. I can't do it again. But what I can do is I can come over here. We can grab this green orb. And then 
say good night to Mr. Trollolo. Same on the other side. Wait for it. And last, but not least, we tell Merlin to wait, we tell him to sleep, and we come take care of the last troll. Who I'm just gonna smack with a mace, because why not? Yeah, yeah, if you eat cursed food, you'll always puke, but we're abusing that right now. Because we're still eating, right? Oh, gauntlets of strength! Oh, that's great! We got it out of a chest, so we know it's absolutely safe to wear. Uh, none of this other stuff I care about. Ring of levitation! Again, we got it out of a chest. We know it's safe. Let's put it on. <laughs> that's fantastic! We're levitating and we're mighty. In fact, we don't need this ring of might because we got a gauntlet of might. Great! Good times, good times. So the green orb we're not gonna bother with because green orb sucks. Could probably take it. Do you guys want me to show you all of the traits? Don't need Olympic Swim anymore because we've got levitation. And... I think, yeah, we're good. We're good. The moment we start taking damage from starvation, that's when we will use our... I'm um, thinking the bob. That's when we're gonna eat the cursed meat. And it's just to save on any of the other food. For a little while. It buys us a couple of seconds. But time is time. And if you're desperate, you're desperate. Let's see here. Okay, that's broken. This guy only has knockback arrows. But yeah, over here I can show you. If you look in the bottom right corner, you'll see there's a bit of white. That is the tip of the arrow, or rather the, the feather, so to speak. Um, yeah, you just keep your eye open for that. If you see it yellow or brown, even slightly, stay away from it. Stay away from it, it will hurt. Okay, so we're taking damage from starvation. Notice how rapidly we're taking damage. If we eat cursed meat, we puke, but it resets the timer, which means we don't have to worry about it. See? See? And now because of that, that is the... Yeah, because of that, we don't have to worry about it. We don't have to think about it. Hey, these red staffs, you want to stay away from them as well? That fireball is a pain in the butt. You don't want to get hit by that. That will murder you very fast. So you keep your eyes open for that. Again, starving. So we eat cursed meat and we just run around. We do puke, but it's fine. It's fine. Woof, 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 woof. Yo! Welcome, White Wolf 2015, to the Wolf Pack. Yo! We got a White Wolf joining the Wolf Pack. I like it. I like it. Welcome in. Oh, welcome in. You might want to take a look at some of the emotes. Because, uh,. I'm just saying, they're pretty cool if you like white wolves. If I do say so myself, but I'm allowed to, right? At least if I can. It's ranged. I'm just gonna pew pew them. If they're melee, I will slap them in the face. Another spell book. Ooh, look at that. Another finger bob. Ugh, poison. Uh, that's what's decrepit. I will equip it. We will use it. We will put the other one on as a spare. But for the most part, we don't need it. Okay, we're starving again. And look at that. We got ourselves a piece of moldy meat. Now, oh, we do the thing again. And look, here's more moldy meat. <laughs> nice. All the food we can save. It's great. You love the emojis? Hey, I appreciate that. I appreciate it. That was made by my girlfriend, believe it or not. <laughs> Absolute legend she is. Look at that, we found a book of healing. Oh, that's amazing. That's awesome. 
Okay, so for the ghouls over here, we don't really have to think about it too much. We're just gonna... We're just gonna eat our pukey pukey stick. Steak. And equip our decrepit mace. Make sure the other one is on our hot bar. We're gonna go in. We're gonna get ourselves a bit of an armor upgrade. If you want to know how we're going to get an armor upgrade, well, the boots here, even though they're very heavy, they have a value of 3 AC. So we're going to go from 26 to 29. It's very heavy. If you are not strong or if you're carrying too much weight, you know, that's something to keep in mind. You don't want to end up on the bad side of that. But yeah, we could just come here, bash these ghouls in the face. No big deal. Just wreck them. We have five extra healing potions. We're not gonna die. We could just go nuts. That's another ring of might. Gonna go over here. Again, more ghouls. Once my mates breaks, I'll swap to the other one. We'll toss this one. Hey, look at that, we got sickness! I can show you another cool potion. Actually, two of them. Okay, so. There's no moldy stuff here. Uh, we'll just eat that, eat the fresh bread, because I don't want to think about it right now. If we use the Alembic, and we combine sickness with booze, we will get confusion. Confusion with acid will give us fruit juice. And as I said, if we combine fruit juice with speed, we get ourselves invisibility, and then we get ourselves more extra healing potions. It's a bit more of a setup to do that. It's not as straightforward. But if you learn the miniature ones, the main things here is if you use confusion with acid, you will get more fruit juice. Just remember that. If you want to remember any of the potions of these ones I've just mentioned, that is the one that you want to remember. That one's important. You know what? I'm just gonna use Troll's Blood here. And then we're just gonna get out. Because we're not afraid. Now! This first section over here, this is the most scary section of all. Once you're done here, you need the red orb for sure. Is it, is it the red orb? I thought you needed the blue orb for, for sure. Could you confirm that toaster? I haven't done it in a long time. I have not touched that in a very long time, so I'm not 100% sure. Yeah, over here we just punch our way through. If we feel threatened, we'll just drink one of the extra healing potions. It's no big deal. Look at that, we got a healing bug! So we just use that instead! <laughs> you can't touch me! I'm a god! Yeah! All oh, the healing is mine! Oh, man. Now, we could just stand here and block. But that's okay. No, not my finger, but Bob! Fine! You want to be like that, Colonel Grimes? I will zap your face! And yours! And yours! Damn it! That's... That's all about my weapons! I've got nothing! I've got nothing now! Stupids! Be gone! Oh, man. Well, it's fine, I guess. This is what it is. It's all gone. It's broken. There's nothing I can do about it. I'm gonna open that, because we can. Uh, and then we're gonna go around. The reason for this... It's quite simple. I need to open up that gate in order to get through to the chest on the other side. I'm showing you guys this secret area as well. If you go through this little spot over here, you'll grab yourself a couple of levitation potions. They are always good to have as a backup over here. I didn't care because we had the extra healing potions and I wanted to just full on YOLO because I'm dumb and I do stuff like that all the time. But it's fine! 
Full timer. Hello. Welcome on in. So much confidence. I mean, we have five extra healing. Look at how much health that is, by the way. Think about it. Think about it. That's a thousand. Sorry, that's 7,000. Sorry, 750 health. Not 7,000. 750 health. That is not a small amount. That's no joke. On top of that, we also have the Ring of Levitation. I could run away at any moment if I want to. I'm just saying. We have reasons to be confident. Let's see here. We got lightning. Okay, lightning's great. Let's take the potion. We have poison. Not really that great. Uh, we got extra healing. Let's go. Uh, we're going to toss that because it's not blast. See, levitation. Absolutely fine. <laughs> Nothing to worry about, guys. We're goodsies. We're goodsies. <laughs> still, even if we weren't that, like, prepared, I would still go in with full confidence. Uh, Both the best because I don't really care. Whatever happens, happens. Just gonna zap things. Get rid of them. Equip ourselves another weapon. Come in here, buy more potions just because we can. And keep on moving. I uh, might want to consider removing the book from my hotbar and actually using torches, which we have. So let's put the book on my hotbar so that we can actually use the torches and see and still be able to swap back. Uh, we're just going to run around. We'll see what we can kill. We'll find the exit and we'll move on. Cleric is fun. I just got down on my scared of the cleric. It's one of the other classes I would recommend for newer players. Okay, so over here, this is very scary. Because there's two goblins there with staffs of fire. But luckily, we got ourselves a potato king and a new base. Ha ha ha! Let's go! Freaking let's go! Uh, excuse me? We'll put that on my hot bar. I guess we'll equip this, just for now. Uh, there is the Alembic. Again, we make fruit juice. We take the fruit juice at the speed. We take that. We make extra healing. And bada boom, bada bam. We're up to 42 alchemy. Very, very decent. Oh no! I just realized! That staff was cursed. I knew it. I knew it when I equipped it, but I didn't see this. Oh, man. Look at that. We got another sickness. So here's something else you can do. Okay. If you take fruit juice and you take a cure element, that'll give you... Sorry, if you take sickness... I mean, <laughs> if you take fruit juice and blindness, you can make yourself a cure element. And then you can use cure element to make more speed. Again, you just combine these. Bada boom, bada bam. Uh, with this and that. And there we go. We got more extra healings. It's very easy to get them. It's, it's broken. It's overpowered. It's actually just broken. But you need to know what you're doing. That's the catch. If you don't know what you're doing, then it's not that bad. So, again, empty bottles. We'll just fill them up. What do we get? I don't know what we got, but we got something. There's another staff of fire. Okay, it's one's broken. There's another ring over here. That one's magic resistance! Great! I like magic resistance. I also have three scrolls of repair that I could use on Sharer right now. There we go. Bada boom, bada bam. Excellent Sharer. Plus one. I'll still show you where to get it, but, you know, just showing you how crazy that is. I uh, will use this one to repair this chest plate. Because it's light and it's 3 AC. And I think it could be handy. I don't really need to repair anything else, so I'm just going to do that. Could take a look at the chest just because. Not really that exciting. It is what it is. Nothing. Yeah, this is why I don't borrow these chests. They're very, very rarely. Do something that makes me smile. Very, very rarely. Okay, we're gonna eat that rotten flesh. Just because it resets the starvation timer. And then we're just gonna go. We're just gonna go. We got a buttload of AC. We could tank a Minotaur at this point. In fact, we could even tank Orpheus himself. 
We just actually have to press space for the block. <laughs> Blocking is overpowered, guys. Who in chat here thinks blocking is overpowered? Especially if you combine it with, um, with this. This stuff. Ta da! Is this thing still flowing? It's not. Hey, we got more booze! Nice. There we go! And more potions! Do we want to buy any of this stuff? Blanks? Enchant weapon? Oh, there's a book of cold! That's huge! I don't need the extra healing, but the cold is huge. That's a very good spell to know. Uh, looks like I'm hungry. So I'll eat a fish. Or I'll wait. I'm gonna wait. Let's see if I can find a tamale. These guys with the red arrows, they can hurt as well. And like I mentioned, magic. Am I starving? Ah, fire! Oh yeah, we got constitution. We don't have to worry about that. Yeah, we are starving. So I'm gonna eat one fish. Food is a little bit limited right now. We don't have that much. But we will find some soon. If not, we still have one booze and... Yeah, that's pretty much it. We can make fruit juice. There we go. Uh, I think... Yeah, we'll make another cure element. We'll make another speed. We'll make another invisibility. And we'll make another extra healing potion. Bada boom, bada bam. If you know alchemy, easy mode. We don't need polymorph. There we go. We got another uh, cure ailment. We don't have booze for that, so we'll just hold on to it. Alchemy is up to 50, by the way. If it gets to 60, that's a really good chance at, you know, duplicating them. We're getting really close to the point where we're going to start spamming those waters. Blockin' isn't overpowered, it's absolutely broken! Yeah, yeah, only the people on the Barony Discord don't think so. They think it's very, very balanced. I think they just secretly want to keep it overpowered without, you know, any consequences. I don't think they want a balanced game. Takes zero skill. Literally zero skill. Barony God! Well, I mean, if you have Blocky 100, you could be a Barony God too. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Where's my exit? It's here somewhere. I hear it. You know what? I'm just gonna go through the wall. What? Why is the wall so thick? That sucked. <laughs> that really sucked. Oh, man. Okay, okay, okay. It's fine. Let's just push our boulders in their holes like a good boy, and we'll be fine. Came in clutch with the new mace. That's true, that's true. Even if we didn't have the mace, we still use magic. We are a intelligence character. But uh, as you can tell, you know, our stats are very evenly spread at the moment. So it doesn't really make that big of a difference. But yeah, just having access to magic and casting, that's all you really need as a cleric. You don't need too much of the other stuff. Oh no, we're hungry again. I might actually starve to death, guys. I'm not even joking. I'm not even kidding. We might actually starve to death. <laughs> That'll be hilarious. I'm always the guy saying food doesn't really matter as much. But the one time we get bad RNG with food and play a little bit slower than normal, I guess. Just a little bit. Not that much. I mean, it's still only an hour and 20 minutes. I can easily finish the game in two hours still. Probably gonna be slightly over if I keep taking my time. Like it'll be an hour and I'm gonna say ten minutes. That's my prediction. If we keep playing at the current pace, uh, maybe faster if we go faster. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, Zozit, we had 100 skill from floor four. So you're telling me 
by the time we finish the mines, we are allowed to tank every single enemy in the entire game. And that's not broken. That's not overpowered. That's fair. I'm just saying, we're not wearing anything fancy. Literally nothing fancy. We've got a plus one, you know, cloak. Normal, normal cloak. Anybody can have that. We have a breastplate that gives us three armor. So basically it's iron, right? I'm just saying. I'm just saying. <laughs> oh, okay. My bad, my bad, my bad. I didn't realize you were joking. Yeah, it does take a hundred skill. That's true. That's true. You know what? Fair enough. That's a very good point. I, 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 I totally, that went over my head. I ran into it in the wrong way. <laughs> Completely the wrong way. Thanks for being cool about it, though. Appreciate you, Zalzit. Behind you! Except for the cockatrices, but by the time we get to the cockatrices, we'll have enough AC to deal with them as well. If you get paralyzed, which is a magic, and that's the one thing you can be afraid of, or if you have the charge attacks from um, the golems, you know, that's something you gotta be afraid of. But other than that, you don't really have much. And look at that, we got a, a ring of magic resistance, so now we don't have to worry about that either. I am scared, though. Food is a problem. Food is actually a problem. That was my last fish. I'm gonna start starving very soon. That one fish has to try and get me either something to eat, or it needs to get me through here and through the Minotaur maze. Uh, by the way, I decided to drink that water, because water actually gives you hunger, rather than trying to get the, the actual water out of it, just because... Look at this, we got a worn shield now. Look how much AC I get. 70 AC. You're telling me we can't tank a cockatrice? We might need more. We might need a little bit more, but we can tank Herx, the final boss of the game. Cockatrice are just better than the final boss of the game. That's it. I'm not going to go and get through here. I have to find the spell of... Oh, we have the spell of food! You're right! Food! Where are you? I'm coming! I'm coming for you right now, sirs! Yes, yes, yes! Thank you, bye! Thank you, my guy! Let's go! Easy, guys! Easy! I knew it all along. Let's just waiting for someone to say it. Yeah, yeah, totally. 100%. I've never really needed to use that spell. That's that's kind of hilarious. It came in useful! For once! Oh, man. Oh, man. Extra healing, but that's cursed. Yeah, we're fine. Just gonna use this book, heal up a little bit, get ourselves more potions. Mm, we could do... We don't have booze. Let's just pick another fruit juice. Wait, there's food here. Cheese! I don't really care about the cheese. Hey, there's a minotaur! I didn't realize! I wasn't paying attention! We normally don't wait for this man! Where is he? Yay! Free weapon skills! No! Don't you kill Merlin! Hey! Hey! Don't you kill Merlin! Damn you! Look at this. We're tanking the Minotaur with a torch. We don't even need a shield. I'm just saying, okay? I'm just saying! It is ridiculous! Five AC on a cloak? Three AC on boots of speed? I will take those over this, thank you very much. And, uh, you know what? I don't mind five extra AC, why not? Why not? Let's actually truly become broken with 75 armor on level 12! We're basically strong enough to tank cockatrice at this stage! It's freaking nuts! It is nuts! Oh man! Okay, we found an exit, but that's not the exit I'm looking for. 
Yeah, he's not the guy I'm looking for either. Ooh, potion. This is what I'm looking for. <laughs> I don't think that you would just exploded. <laughs> I feel bad for him. <laughs> he just stood there, but he didn't anymore. I once knew a human who stood right there until he spot. Ah, uh, yeah, never mind. Never mind. Forget us. Forget I was supposed to do anything. Paralyzed and dead and dead. And I'm just gonna use Troll's blood because why not? There's a tamale over here. Give me tamale! No, I'm hungry. I need food. Okay, okay, okay. Fine, fine, fine. We'll use the spell again. We'll use the spell again. There's food up here. Okay. There's a pie. That helps. Might as well take a quick peek. Ooh. I'm gonna get the water this time. Pie is cursed! You know what? That's okay. We can still eat it. If I can put it in my mouth, I will consume it. Ooh. Boots of Dex or Feather? I'm gonna take the Boots of Dex. Look at that, cure element potion. We've got two of them now. We could make booze, but we can't do anything with it. We could make explodey potions, but again, there's not that much we can do with it. So what I think I'm gonna do instead is I'm just gonna combine some of these things to free up my inventory space a little bit more and keep going. Zoom! No, this way. I'm run up here. And straight to my yum yum! No! It's a tin can! But it led me to the store that's not selling anything. He's got bread! He's got bread! We're saved! He's got a tin can! I'm buying them all! Thank you, sir! You are a beautiful man! Did I mention that? I don't know if I've mentioned it, but you're extremely handsome! Very, very fantastic. Magnificent. Magnificent. Do we want this? It's moldy. It's cursed. Ugh. Nope. Don't care about it. Wait, does he sell towels? We might need a towel. He doesn't sell towels. But I think he might be selling boots of... Levitation. Might as well buy it. Yeah, that's boots of levitation. Look at that! We got levitation boots now! Huh? So, magic resistance ring, levitation boots, we'll sell the old boots of speed, the old levitation ring, and huzzah! We're good! We're set! We're absolutely golden. Now, where is the Minotaur maze? It's this way. Let's go find- let's go say hello to our good old buddy. Mr. Big Brown Cow. Well, an inventory not equipped? I don't have the inventory space for it, though. That's the problem. Again, just have a torch. This minotaur can't hurt us. Even with a torch in our hand. I'm just saying, okay? Block it is good! We are! Definitely! Look at us! We're killing the turbo in the door in the maze! And I'm literally reading chat while we're doing this. Goldless run as a skeleton, so you just skip Sokoban in the hope of getting more spellbooks in the normal level. I wouldn't have skipped Sokoban syringe. Uh, in Sokoban, you can get access to the... Whatchamacallit? Uh, the gloves. The, the Jenny's bracers. Those are really good. This is an item you probably want to get every single run. Because between these two magic resistance items, we have 66% magic resistance. And remember what I said. The only things we're afraid of is magic damage and burn damage. Those are the only two things we're afraid of. So 66% magic damage reduction. Magic has suddenly become a normal attack. Also, because of all my constitution, burning 
has kind of become less than a normal attack. Making this a lot easier. Rip Merlin? Yeah. I feel bad for Merlin. He didn't deserve that, guys. He didn't deserve that. Am I going the wrong way? I am. Okay, there we go. We got two more speed potions. You know what we're going to do with those? Combine them with mana. And bada boom, bada bam. We now have 2,000 health in bottles. Do you guys think we're going to die anytime soon? It's very unlikely at this point. Very, very, very unlikely. Uh, we will keep the red orb. According to Toaster, you need the red orb. I'm pretty sure it was the blue orb, but we're going to test that. We're going to test that. I, I trust Toaster. Toaster knows this game pretty well as well. I've played with him a couple of times. Toaster, we haven't played in a long time, though. We are going to organize a game again at some point. Just going to grab some of this stuff, ignore some of that stuff. Mm, do I eat my bread? Yeah, we'll eat the bread. Do I eat the pie? Yeah, why not? Hey, look at that! Cloak of Magic Reflection! Basically being... Basically saying, you know, no, magic's not gonna hurt me. Book of Sleep? I'll take it. Poison? Don't need it. Mm, we will take that. We will take the Potion of Paralysis as well. Uh, food! <laughs> it's food! That's great! I don't really need it anymore, but it's great! I don't like that I have to combine this now. But okay. I guess I'll do it just because why not. Oh, and uh, we could make more poison by combining those. I don't need to hold on to that. So we've got three poisons. If we get three boosts, that's three confusions. And then we can get three more fruit juice. We've got everything we need for the fruit juice stuffy wuffies. And we'll make even more amazing potions. Hello, sir. I see you've got a steel shield. Is a blast? It's not blessed. Okay. Age tin can. I'm not going to worry about it. We got the other tin cans. Got a ring that's worth 100, so it's protection and pretty terrible. We're not going to we're not going to look at that. Okay, hello. <laughs> you scared me, sir. What are you doing? It's blue orb, you double checked. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, I wasn't... After you mentioned, I wasn't sure. Like, the way I remember it is the red orb gives you lots of physical damage stuff. But Shirur is kind of like a magical thing. In fact, if we look at our mana regeneration over here, you'll see it's 300%. This, our mana regeneration is capped. It's because of our, our intelligence as well as Shirur. It helps. It adds up. Okay, we're just going to get rid of him. Run up here. No, no, my torches! No, my magic reflection! And the gnomes don't really do anything to us anymore. Uh, we could grab their staffs of lightning. That's a useless ring. Uh, I'm not going to worry about those pickaxes. In fact, we're just going to keep moving. I just want to find the exit and get out of here. I did grab the fish now that I think about it. Yeah, why not? Going around. Going in here. Where is my exit? I just want to leave. I'm asking for too much. Guess so. If you want to squish me. I should just do a sex change. If I'm a girl, the game will do me do stuff, right? That That's how it works. Ah, easy potion. Nice. Yoink. Um, still don't see the exit, though. Nope, not like this. Thanks. Check the Discord. He'll ping DM me and I can give you a rather nice one. Wait, what is this? Where can I get information how each potion is crafted? I will create an alchemy guide, but yes, on the Barony Discord, there is uh, there is a bunch of like little images. I 
I can show you which one I recommend. Do you guys want me to show you which one I recommend? And why I recommend it? Yeah, let me show you guys. Hold on. Uh, let's open up the Barony Discord. I think it's in Tips and Guides. Let me see if I can find this first. And messages. Yes, yes, yes. Not exactly the one I'd recommend. Oh, here it is. Okay. Here it is. Let me show you guys. So, if you go to the Barony Discord over here in Tips and Guides, if you click on the pinned messages, you'll see this pop up. Scroll down. You'll see this over here. If you want to look at this, this is one of them. I don't recommend this one specifically, but you can learn from it. You'll see that there is invisibility from fruit juice, but it's like a separate thing. So that's why I don't quite believe it. You'll also see this one if you just want to find like the very specific potion you want to create. I don't recommend using the grid because you don't learn the base potions. What I recommend you do is scroll down even more and look for this one. Now I'm just going to open this up on a web page. We'll zoom on in. Acid, fruit juice, booze. Those are the base potions of the game. If you have acid, you can make storm potions or basically weapons of attack. Okay? If you have fruit juice, you know how to make cure ailment. You can make invisibility and restore magic. These, these three, just these three over here, fruit juice, speed, fruit juice, cure ailment, are the most important ones because with them, you can take invisibility and restore magic to make extra healing. But yeah, here you can kind of see like all of the base potions and how they kind of connect into everything else. Teaching you the base potions and what you need with those base potions rather than just finding out how to make a potion This is a best is the best way to learn potions in my opinion But if you don't like this, you don't have to use it If you like the other visual aids use the other visual aids If you want to memorize them one at a time you can memorize them one at a time You'll have to do it anyway technically, but like I said the base potions these ones are where it's at it depends on, play, on player, from person to person. Some people like one, other person like B. That's an awful it's looking chart. That's one of a grid. But that's what I'm telling you. The one on a grid is easier on the eyes, but it doesn't teach you the base potions. It just teaches you what you need to combine to create a potion. It doesn't teach you the fundamentals of alchemy. That is it. But if you like it, if you appreciate that one more, absolutely go ahead and use it. There's nothing wrong with it. People are different. That's what it comes down to. People are different. People learn things in different ways. And you're dead. And you're dead. And that is my goal. No, I can't pick up the stick. You're dead. And more potions. So what do we get? We got fruit juice, we got sickness, we got other stuff, we got water apparently. I don't really care about the water, but okay. Uh, we got booze! Okay, that's good, that's good. So we'll make another confusion, uh, we'll make another fruit juice, and then we'll combine the speed, make more uh, invisibility, use that invisibility to then end up getting more extra healing, and bada boom bada bam, we are golden. Quick and easy, what can I say? That one could be pulled up on your phone is always good. I, I get it, I get it. Like I said, people like different ones and you'll have to just use what works for you. I did show you all of them. I showed you variety, so you know where to find them. You know what to look for. And you know whether or not you would like it or not. But that's totally on you. That one's not on me. We just go. I feel like we could just go. We're strong enough to beat the game already. Just gonna eat the fish. We're gonna ignore these guys. I'm not gonna worry about the books. Uh, I guess I could get a couple extra potions. Oh, hello. Hi, ma'am. Don't mind me. I'm just passing through. Excuse me, sir. Hello. <laughs> Whoops. 
Okay, uh, again, we'll just make another confusion. We must make another one of these. That's fruit juice. Now, in this specific case, I don't really have anything to do with it. So, we could turn that back into booze, back into confusion, and kind of just repeat the whole process and get ourselves alchemy skill. I feel like that's what I'm going to do. We're just going to do that. We're going to do this. There we go. Alchemy skill. Again, we're just going to turn that into fruit juice. Uh, alchemy skill. There we go. We just make booze again. We make confusion again. There we go. More alchemy skill. And there we go. More fruit juice. Very easy. Quick and easy peasy. Lemons go easy. I like it. I like it. I just joined. How did you get to level 40 at ruins? I don't know. I just killed stuff. Watch the VOD! <laughs> it's not a matter of how did I do it, it's just I did it! We just played the game normally like we usually do! This is... And I'm playing slower than normal, I hate playing this slow! Right, we're gonna start speeding up right now. Where's the exit? There it is. Let's go! Time to beat the game! We are... God Mode Activate! So it's just let's go be the game. Let's just go do the thing. Oh, there's more potions here. I need to do it. I need to do it. We're here. We gotta do it. Excuse me, ma'am. Not right now. I'm busy. Uh, let's toss my food. Pick up the potions. Uh, looks like we have another invisibility for another extra healing and nothing else. We can make an explosion potion thingy, my bub, but eh. Let's make more sickness just because we can and then combine them so we can free up an extra slot and grab our food and be on our way. We see the exit, but we're not taking this exit. We're going the other exit. What do I get? I don't know what I got, but it doesn't really matter. Pickaxe, serviceable. Yeah, might as well. It's booze! Perfect! Let's go to hell, boys and girls! Time to say- No! No! I went the wrong way! Damn it! Oh, I hate you, Herx! Why did I go through the first exit? I need to go- <laughs> Damn it! It's fine, it's fine. Let's just go kick his butt. Uh, just gonna pop one extra heal. And we'll just smack him. Yeah, that's that's Herx in a nutshell, all right. This is Herx in a nutshell. Look how much crazy skill that took. Oh my goodness! Did you see the jukes? Oh man! If I didn't do that one spell, I'd be dead right now. Oh, that was so scary. That was terrifying. I hate Herx. I hate going to Herx. Damn it! It's fine. It's fine. I don't want to be there anyway. No, man. Well, let's get some more water, and let's combine it. We'll go grab our other extra healing potions, we'll combine them. Like I said, we're, we're very strong right now. We don't have to really overthink anything. We could just go crazy. Just gonna combine these again, because we can. Why not? Grab the mana potions, combine them again. Why not? And let's go. This way! Who quacked at me anyway? Old timer? Why is the old timer quacking me up? Huh? What are you doing, sir? So, for the person who asked about Sharer, blue orb to this man over here in the basement. I'll show you how to get here. But if you give him the blue orb, you can buy a Sharer for 3,000 gold. It'll only be serviceable. It's not blessed, but it's still a Sharer. Okay, so if you want it, you can do that from here. If you have a red orb, you can buy any of the other melee weapons in crystal form. These ones are really, really good, by the way. Do not underestimate these. These ones are great. But yeah, just wanted to say, don't dominate the cockatrice. Kill them! Pick a class that can do no mines easily. Like Conjurer, Wizard, or Warrior. After you clear no mines, just clear every average secret. I mean, no mines doesn't scale you that much, though. After gnomish mines, I'm usually like level 10. And we were level 8 before we even entered the Gnomish Mines this time. It's not Gnomish Mines that gives you all of that scaling. Ghouls? I'll say Ghouls 100% does add to it. Ghouls is overpowered. 
that's why we used it for speedruns for a little while until we realized, hey, we don't need to do this anymore. Uh, firstly, get no oh, speed. There we go. And we'll combine the speed with the fruit juice. And we'll combine that with our mana. More extra healings. Overpowered. Again. Too much. It's too much. This is why I never do alchemy. Alchemy is broken. Alchemy is just insanely broken. Uh, let's combine the water. There's more water in here. I think there's potions too. Yeah, there is. Uh, firstly, let's combine that. I could make booze. Yeah, you know what? Let's do it. Let's make one booze. Then we'll make another speed. We'll combine the speed. Uh, combine that with another extra healing thingamabob. And bada boom, bada beam. Look at that. We found another extra healing. <laughs> That's 22 extra healings. We haven't, didn't have to do anything super crazy or special. We're just that good. I'm not going to worry about any of the NPCs. We'll buy the mana potions. I'm going to sell all of the stats because, again, we don't need them. I don't think we have a... Wait, we do have magic mapping. Nice. It's a shame I can't actively use it because... Well, uh, there's a certain guy who was trading the feather that I might have needed. Well, they're no longer selling it, so... Uh, it is what it is. Uh, enchant weapon! Might as well. Doesn't really matter. Alrighty, let's uh, keep moving. Buy some of these, buy some of those. Yeah, might as well. Just buy everything. Now, at this stage, the vampire doublet, if you have a spell of healing, it's really good. It's really good because it re your, your health regeneration basically turns into um, your health regeneration. Let me actually show you this. So if we look at this, our health is one every 12 seconds, where we get one mana every three seconds. If we equip the vampire doublet, we get one, not one every three, but we get two mana every three. Our mana regeneration is doubled, okay? So think about that. One and a half mana a second why is that good? Because if we cast the spell of extra healing, we get 52 health back for 40 mana. So we can sustain our health a lot easier just by using the healing spells. And we'll get it back a lot faster. And we'll have a lot more mana for anything else that we might need mana for. A lot quicker and easier. It's just better in general. The only downside is you need to heal yourself. So it's something that you need to be mindful of. But that's the only downside. I'm just gonna get rid of that book. We're not gonna use that anymore. Uh, do I care about the fresh bread? Not really. Levitation boots? Eh. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. Everything's fine. Don't really care too much about this stuff, but eh. More mana potions, more healing potions. Again, we're not gonna run out of mana for days. <laughs> for days! Look at all of this! Look at all! It's so beautiful! It's beautiful! <laughs> Look at that! Oh, man! Okay. Okay, let's truly become God. God above all gods! Boop. And boop. Okay, uh, all of those. There we go. Bada boom, bada bam. All of these. Bada boom, bada bam. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Yeah, that's that's fine. That's fine. Uh, let's combine some of these to make some more of those. We'll grab all of this stuff. Uh, let's do the same thing again. We'll just combine those. We'll make more of these. So four fruit juice. That's great. Uh, we'll just combine these. Make more speeds. And combine that with this. You know what? Let's make another sickness potion so that we can get another... Let's make two sickness potions so that we can get another uh, one of the uh, uh, finger my pops. No, I did it twice. Whoops, I didn't mean to do it twice. That's fine. Uh, another fruit juice over there. Combine all of these. There we go. And we've reached 100 in alchemy. So at this stage, what we can do is we can combine these, get blessed extra healing potions, and all of that water that I have, all of that water 
is now becoming extra healing potions. It's 100% chance. So, just for the record, okay? Just for the record, I have... Oh, we got another one. I'm just gonna say it's 200 instead of 250 because it's blessed. It's to plus 10 HP per healing thing, if I remember. Sorry, per blessing. Plus 10 healing per blessing. Um, but we're just gonna say it's fifth, like 200, the same as this. We're just gonna say it's 200, so it's less than it actually is. We've got 60 potions. This is 6,000 health in healing. Alchemy is broken. I don't need to. It doesn't matter if it's worn or not. My Alembic will never break. Where's my, where's alchemy? Where's the chance? Chance of anything breaking? I don't know. Just, just trust me. My, my Alembic will never break. Yeah, there we go. Alembic's never degrade. It's fine. Doesn't matter. So it's the other one's the one we kind of had from the beginning. So honestly, at this point, I'm just going to toss all of these potions. I don't really care about them. We're going to toss all the empty bottles. We could make more. But we're broken overpowered right now. Absolutely broken, overpowered, and it's not even funny anymore. So I'm just gonna try and find the exits. We're just gonna leave. And yeah. Guide on how to kill Hamlet merchants? <sighs> okay. I'm only gonna get this party started. You smack them, you lure them. I don't have the other tools I need, so. Now they will fight. Okay, not like this. Just gonna wait for him to go into the corner. We'll come in here. Smack this guy. Stand behind him. He hits his friend. His friend should hit him. And they should start attacking each other. No? There we go. They're attacking each other. So they're gonna kill each other. I'm coming this way. Same story here. We just hit this guy. Oh my goodness! So he's distracted. Uh, we can hit this guy. Bring him on out. I just need him to come outside. Let them come towards me. There we go. They're hitting each other. And now they will kill each other. If you don't have... Ring of Conflict, this is a good way to go about it. If you do have a Ring of Conflict, just equip a Ring of Conflict. It's much easier. Alternatively, what you can do, and I will show it over here of these, this guy over here. If you have a pickaxe, you can break. Oh, they, they fixed that. Huh. Or maybe that's not a thing that's been for a while. Well, I don't know. You can also just go zig and zag and... You know, you could just do the slow thing over time by dodging and weaving left and right, but I'm not going to sit here and kill all of Hamlet. It doesn't matter. It really doesn't. Look at this. We've got left 2,000 gold after all of the things we've purchased. It, it doesn't matter. It really doesn't. Uh, we'll use our extra healing. I don't think we have the book of magic mapping. Nope, we don't. So we're just going to have to try and find the exit. We'll do that by using this worn a little staffy from him above the torch, the lights! It'll be good. Just looking for the exits, that's it. Just looking for the exits. There we go. My boots are gonna betray me? They're worn. They're absolutely fine. Uh, I could go through there, but I don't want to. Hey, look, it's a cockatrice. Hey, look, this one could actually hurt me. Hey, look, if I block with a shield, I take no damage. And a cockatrice is a joke. 
So long as I can dodge his um, paralysis like that, we should be fine. So remember that thing about blocking being overpowered? Yeah. Well, I'm gonna say it again. Blocking is overpowered. Uh, do we have any torches? We don't, and it's dark here. I don't like that. Where's the exits? Oh, uh, four, five, there we go. All of my health is on me. Over 6,000 of it. That's invisibility back there. I could make another one. But I'm not going to. We have more potions that we're ever going to need. Yeah, it's a Minotaur floor! Fortunately, it's still dark! Is the Minotaur necessary, brother? It is for me! No, sister, but I do like the show. I mean, I just want to find the exits faster. Minotaur has two exits, so yes, please! Where is the exits? That's dangerous! Okay, here we go. I'm just gonna grab a couple of these. Just so we don't end up in that same situation as before. Thank you. Thank you. Now let's go. Just looking for the exit. That's it. Immortals. Immortals and their servants, sister. Let them come. Here, exit, exit, exit. Where are you? Uh, same with crystal golems. If we have a shield. And crystal golems can't hurt us either. Nothing in a game that does physical damage can hurt us. Because we are overpowered. Blocking! ADAC! <laughs> what can I say? What can I say? It's it's Nazi, okay. Hey, look, a general store! Ah, I forgot I was wanted! Ah, I forgot! I forgot! Ah, let me out! I don't want to be here anymore! This wasn't part of the plan! Okay, we're just gonna keep moving. There's the exit. Three more floors! What about Brom? Do we want to go to Brom? Well, that pickaxe is broken! I'm so confused! I'm leaving! Nope, not that way! <laughs> okay, definitely not this way. Come on, stop blocking me in everywhere! It's not fair! It's not very nice! Oh, Shadow. Oh, how me doth not know the weakness of myself. There's the vampire. Come on, where's the exit at? Do Brahms? Yeah, I guess we could do Brahms. That won't hurt. Um, let's take a look up here first. I just hope we find the exit, that's all. I hope this isn't going to be one of those games where we have to run across the entire map a hundred times. Go through here. So far, nothing. 
So far, nothing. And yeah, this is fine. It's an easy exit to find. It should help. Yeah, it does help. It does. Also, we usually... I've been skipping Brahm a bit lately. But we usually should go for Brahm. Just because, why not? Just show that you can take care of him pretty easily as well. Man! This is why I don't like the Citadel levels. It's just a maze. I just want to find the exit. I just want to go. I want to leave. And it feels like I'm actually asking too much for it. Let's go take a look at these last pixels down there just because otherwise... I'm probably going to have to run all the way back down just in case. Okay, nothing over here. Nothing back there. There we go. So this is Brom's castle. <laughs> wow, this is Brom's castle. Hello. You were right to the there we go. Straight to Brom. Nice. Still your only winning combo? Hey, you can have more. You're gonna get more, don't worry. You'll be fine. You'll get every fine. You'll get many wins. You'll get there. The big thing is just you gotta learn how to deal with certain enemies in certain situations. The classes, I wanna say, come second. It's not. Once you know the basics of the game, everything else comes second. But it does help to know a little bit about the classes. Yeah, we could wear the thing or. I'm not going to, it's fine. Yes, it's a Minotaur floor! Do you think, sister, they'll flee from the Minotaur? I don't care, brother. Send By the way, level 50 for here is kind of low. Okay, it's not low. It's average for us. But I know a lot of people grind and min-max to get to, like, level 100 before they're here. So in that sense, it's a little low. But it's more than enough. Uh, I've shown before, you only need to be about level 30. It's a difficult fight, but with level 30, you can beat the twins. Doublet? I already have a doublet. Fifty is normal? You think so? Honestly, I don't even know what is normal anymore. I know if you skip everything, and when I say skip everything, if you skip all of the extra levels, all this bonus stuff, all the side content, and you only go for the normal randomly generated stuff, uh, you can reach level 40, around level 40, 50. Between 30 and 50, I'm going to say, depending on how much RNG you got, how many stuff you killed, uh, stuff like that. Wow. There we go. Let's go say hi to our friends. Well, equip that. We don't need this, I guess. We don't need none of this. Uh, we don't need any of that. Chad Weapon! Ah, why not? Repair? Ah, why not? What else do we repair? Our shield? It's not gonna break. Doublet? Ah, why not? Uh, toss all of the other goodies that we don't need and hello, sir! How are you doing today? I am selling you a chocolate chip cookie for the low, low price of $9.99. I will kick your ass. And we drink normal potions because why not? Just keep our health topped up. Just gonna stand in the room of death. That doesn't matter. It really doesn't. I don't know about that one, but okay, if you say so, sir. Where are you at? Come back here. I haven't reached my legendary and basis yet. I need a big up beating on you. 
Oh, we still haven't drunk a single extra healing potion. Maybe we should just kill him with extra healing potions. I know, right? I throw a healing potion in your face and you die? How does that work? Explain yourself. <laughs> well, this is a cleric. Like I said, it's about a two hour game. It's nothing too crazy. I showed you guys alchemy. Alchemy is broken. We still have, I'm going to say, another 10,000 health. I don't even know. It's probably like 10,000 health in bottles, not including the regular restore healings. Um, we never needed to use our mana. We never needed to use spells. It was, it was great. Uh, I imagine balance is built around skipping most side content. Yeah, maybe. Probably, Zosit. Probably. It definitely does feel more balanced if you skip the side content. That's true. But hey, this was fun. Level 75 is your average. Level 50 is my average. This is definitely my average. The Vatran Doublet drops is blessed, isn't it? Mine's blessed as well. And it can also be cursed, Toaster. That doublet can also be cursed. But again, like, I don't need it. We don't even use mana here. We're at max mana. <laughs> like, I don't know. I don't know. It is what it is, man. It is what it is. Your average is 60? 60 is good, Joker. 60 is good. If you spend more time killing some of the crystal golems and stuff, you'll probably get around level 80, I think, more consistently. And if you full clear all the forelores and stuff, you might get, like, level 100. Not 100% sure. GG! Does anybody have any questions about the cleric or any questions in general that you want me to answer quickly? By the way, blocking overpowered. Look at that, 50 AC. We can tank the Minotaur without even needing to block. But if we block, we've got 75. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Okay? Blocking is overpowered. We've had 100 blocking since floor 4. We haven't even left the mines. That's 1 MP per second. Is it faster? Yeah, it's faster. It's, it's 2 MP per second. What's my favorite class? Ooh. I really enjoy Accursed. The invisibility you get from the get-go is just so powerful. On top of that, uh, uh, the healing that you get, all of the, the magical strength you get, the fact that you can also hit with your fists and still be viable. It's not as viable as a strength-based class, but still be viable regardless. It's pretty good. Um, ninja is always a really fun class for me. I think Ninja is another one that just, it will always stay close to my heart. Because it scales both strength. Uh, it scales both strength, dexterity. Which means you can carry literally anything. And run at the speed of light while hitting like a truck. And absolutely just destroy everything in your path. It's really good. It is very, very good. Um... So, something to keep in mind. The starting kit's also really great. You know, the bear traps, the daggers, uh, the high skill and swords is great. It's off. Oh, ninja, accursed. I also really like wizard just because I like magic in this game. So, shaman is another one I'd naturally lean towards because inform, best magic caster in the game. Just nothing else can compete with it. Having elemental focus is the best, single most best spell in the game. Sure, Arcane Mark does stuff, but you know what? If I have to choose between Arcane Mark and Elemental Focus, I'll take Elemental Focus 100% of the time. I'll never take Arcane Mark. But Arcane Mark is pretty good. Pretty enjoyed the stream. Thank you for another live lesson. You're most welcome, enjoyer. Uh, tomorrow we'll be doing Barry again. Same time, same place. We'll be doing a random run. So pretty much roll randomly. If we die, we have to re-roll randomly. No idea what I'm going to play. It's completely random. So we'll see what happens. Currently, you can sustain... Amplify magic without losing MP. Yeah, I guess we could, huh? We totally could. It's 2 MP per second? Oh, yeah. So we can literally just cast it for free. <laughs> That's awesome. And we just top up with some extra mana potions. Boom, bada boom, bada bam. But if you guys want to know how powerful a shaman can be, check this out, guys. Check this out. I'm going to show you a video. I'm just going to show you a quick clip. Check this out. Magic can be broken. Show me a melee character that does this. As a level 58. 
58 shaman. Remember what I said. Shaman is overpowered. One, two, three, four, five. He's dead. Five spells. One, two. Wait for it. Three, four, five. Five spells. He's dead. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 17 spells kills all the bosses in the game. Just 17. If you don't think that is freaking broken and powerful, I don't know what is. And it's very obtainable too. Very easy to do. Very easy. We might do another uh, powerful run like that, but eh. I don't know. Anyways, this is the part where I call it. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Take care, be well, stay awesome. My name is Lyceant, and I'll see you tomorrow on the flip side of the interwebs. Bye-bye.